Hey guys, this is Woody, the Unexceptional Gamer, bringing you a dual com. So who do I have with me today? You got Sassman Jr. or Jeff, uh, and uh, yeah, I'm a YouTuber and I'm also your business partner that hopefully we can talk a little bit about. Yeah, so I've met you before. <laughs> we have, we've met in real life. <laughs> <laughs> yes, yeah, so, so for those of you that don't know, um, so, so here's the deal, Huppet is, uh, I, like I called Jeff one morning and uh, you know started talking about business ideas and, and before long it turned into a partnership and and then we just ran with it from there. So, um, yeah, it's not, not a huge revenue producer at the moment, but uh, I think it's done a lot of good for the gaming community. And, yeah, you know, we're lucky it just pays for the servers at the moment. But uh, that being said, I think what we've done is actually quite good, and we, we continue to work in that area. But, um, you know, I'm just the other the other part of Huppet. I generally do a little bit more of the back-end administrative work. And, uh, yeah, it's good. We hope we bring something unique to the community. Yeah, I'm pretty happy with the partnership. You know, the... the not that everyone cares about this, but kind of the work. I, I do a lot of the, the traffic driving to the site, and uh, Jeff makes the site hum. And then, of course, I do a little bit of making the site hum, and Jeff does a little bit of making the, the traffic arrive. So that's that's what we do. Exactly. So yeah. this dual, dual com, um, there was a few things that I actually wanted to talk about, Woody. And one was that uh, I have uh, 25,000 subscribers now on YouTube or approaching that very closely. Mm -hmm. And I want to actually uh, run an open lobby event. So uh, I know a lot of my viewers view your videos and whatnot. But uh, I would like people to leave comments uh, in on this video about how best to go about getting people registered for that and maybe getting some interest. And uh, hopefully we can get some big matches with some of the subscribers that uh, view not only your videos but view mine as well all right so coming from dualcom experience the first thing they'll want to know is which platform you're going to run it on yeah so i could do both but let's just say that this is xbox only because it's a i think it's got a little bit better without starting a console flame war here <laughs> i do have both um and i even have the wii but the xbox has slightly better management for lobbies and parties and whatnot so we'll, we'll stick with the xbox for that one yep yeah i'm i'm right there with you i also have both and i've done more open lobbies than i think i get credit for <laughs> and uh yeah, the the thing about the PS3 is like you, you can't uh, clear out the lobby very easily and, and bring in your next round. Whereas the Xbox, you can set up 18 people, play three games, empty the whole thing out, and uh, and reload it with guys. And uh, it's just people can get stubborn and not want to leave, and it's a challenge. So exactly. And for those of you who are already on Huppet, uh, you'll see a post on the forum about that, and yeah, more news will come later. Yep. How often do you play with subs? Every match. So actually, <laughs> funnily enough, um, I do not ever not play with subs unless I'm doing something like going for a ghost perk because if I play with people from Huppet or subscribers the enemy team rarely gets up air support so I can't do hardened and I can't do ghost and I, you know, there's a, a, lot of, a lot of things that I can't do so that's the only time that I'll say ah, I'm going to go to free for all I'm going to go to you know, a, a demolition public match or whatnot but every single match has you know, at least four subscribers five subscribers and I have this thing going where I, uh, I wrote a little program for myself but it, it I add people who show interest in wanting to be in the list, and then over time, it gives me a, an output of people who need to come off the list, and I kind of track who I have been playing with and whatnot, and I end up, end up getting this fairly steady rotation of subscribers, which is quite nice. You know, it's pretty unique in the scheme of things. I was going to ask about that. So they come off the list because... They've had enough playing time already, or yeah, or we never play. So the rules are, you know, they've had enough play time, or we never play together. And some subscribers stay on for a very, very long time. For instance, a good friend of mine, uh, Hyper Mole, um, mm -hmm. he's a Next Gen Tactics director now. So congratulations to him. But he, um, it, you know, he, he people who play my play style, and we have fun together. They end up staying on for a very long period of time. But for other people, if they don't play because it's just not a time zone mix, then uh, they'll come off and they can they get added back into the list to come back on again. Huh, cool. So yeah, pretty unique. So I wanted to talk to you about something, Woody, as well. First perk usage: um, start a match, middle of match, end game. What what generally do you, are you leaning towards in Black Ops? <laughs> so. Um I've been playing with Hardline a lot, so I'm in a in a different situation than a lot of guys. My <laughs> sometimes I get fussed at for playing with good players, but uh, it it also translates into being fussed at for just playing with my friends. You know, like really, I have to ditch my friends you know, almost every night. We all play together, and suddenly I have to not play with them. But because I I a lot of the guys that I roll with are so good at this game, I like to run Hardline. It's oftentimes a race to the helicopter. And uh, if I don't start off with hardline, then um, you know I'm starting off a kill behind. And you know I, I have my anti-air class in, in case that happens. But um, and then of course that runs ghost. But uh, hardline's become my go-to. And, and a lot of my videos have had the famas lately. And while I don't exclusively play with that, it, 
it, I think the reason that a lot of my videos I've had for Moss is that was my hardline class. So just lately I switched it up, put hardline on more of my classes so that uh, yeah, I, I can get more helicopters and get more decent games. So for me, um, it depends on the game type, but I'm either a flak or a hardline start uh, mm-hmm. just to get going. And then, uh, you know, even while I haven't died, I'll usually switch up to a ghost class straight after. And um, so that ends up, like, obviously in these two videos we're playing, I don't do that because, you know, one was Newtown. And Newtown's just a, a shitstorm of fun, which is good. But, uh, <laughs> um, yeah, that's what generally I like doing. And SMGs I'm giving a lot more attention to lately because uh, I find that you can get really close quarters in most of these maps in the scheme of things. Yeah, that, it takes a while for me to get the knack for other, other, like, other weapons, right? So the assault rifle has really mild weaknesses and fairly decent strengths you know the 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 distant shots no no the uh, up close shots are its weaknesses but it's not all that weak there and um the smgs anyway i've been playing with the shotgun more so that i can get a feeling for how to navigate the maps and work in close quarters and you know, i have fun with that too yeah so with the uh, with the assault rifles you're talking about the positives um so the famas and the aug have don't they have almost a similar fire rate as some of the smgs hmm I think they do. So, yeah, you're right. You know, you end up getting a, a longer distance, uh, you know, if you can handle the recoil. Yeah, the, the hip spray is real wide. <clears throat> Excuse me, yeah, the hip spray is real wide on them. So, you know, when you do that, sometimes it takes, you know, I'll say seven bullets to kill with the hip spray and to get four on target as opposed to, uh, you know, like maybe just four if you're doing it with an AK-74U or something like that. Sure, right. Um, also, coordinated teams. So you are saying you run with teams quite a lot. Uh, mm-hmm. What... What do you what do you find generally happens when you come across another coordinated team? Because for me personally, I find that you know it might start off very cordial, uh, uh, cordial, uh, cordial. Um, I've got a, a, an English fail here, but um, <laughs> yeah, you might it might be very friendly and uh, everything's fine. And then even if you're running around the map completely, you'll just find that the, you know in the next lobby they start bitching you out. Even though me personally, I would say good game, good game. You know, it was a quick, you know, it was a only a small loss that you had there. Um, what do you find when you... you I know you play with uh, oh. Oslo and T-Mart and others, but... Yeah, I wish there was a way to keep it friendly. You know, like, um, if we run into... What what happen, We typically win if we roll with a full party. Uh, sometimes when we have three or four, it'll get tighter or we'll even get at losses. <clears throat> and uh, that's when they really, really start chirping. And, you know, most of the time they chirp and, and we have a full party, all we need to say is don't leave, right? Stick around, let's keep playing, this is fun. Uh, I like you guys, you're good for my Katie, stuff like that. And uh, and it goes real smooth. <laughs> I'm looking at your video. Um, <laughs> got too bad, yeah. yeah. Um, but, but yeah, something about full parties, uh, it, it just, it, you know, it gets people more aggressive and it's frustrating. Just recently I had this experience where we beat a team and uh, they were really cool in the lobby and then they posted up on YouTube later talking all sorts of smack and they said I was terrible and, and that kind of nonsense. And he's like, oh, let's take out of context. I, I don't know why you took offense to you're really not good at this game at all. Exactly. <laughs> uh, really? <laughs> Douchebag. Well, thanks for having me uh, stop by anyway, Woody. All right. So uh, thanks for coming on, man. Thanks, buddy. Cheers.